Hi everybody, this is Fuzzy Pumpkin. We're back with my Blank Slate Challenge. We're going to be doing a half build, half play episode today. And we're starting out here on our new build. I uh, just moved over to a different area of Windenburg. This is a little bit more congested, sort of downtown area. Last site of the Narwhal Arms, which I believe was a restaurant or bar. I plopped down some items from the debug menu just to see, kind of give myself some inspiration and some items that I wanted to use. But this lot is going to be a bed and breakfast kind of boarding house. It's going to be a little bit different because it's going to be in a converted factory. That's kind of my idea for this area of Windenburg is that it kind of half consists of abandoned factories and warehouses that we're going to be converting into homes and community lots, little, you know, maybe coffee houses, bar, uh, probably maybe a retail store. Not quite sure. We might put a vet's office over in this area too. I'm not sure I might put that in the nicer waterfront area, but that's right here. We are building a factory that's going to be converted into a boarding house. I always say it, it, you, you can't quite do a bed and breakfast because it's not like people will just come in for like a day or two. So we're going to be using the roommate system in order to fakeify this. I think it'll be good though. I think it'll look good. So the main structure, we've got a three-story structure. The upstairs is going to be kind of a apartment for the people that live there. So obviously it's going to have to be managed. The first and second floor are going to be spaces for the boarding house. Probably the second floor will be rooms, I think, sleeping rooms for everyone. I have some relatively large rooms for our renters and... I'm thinking kind of a, inspired by this hotel that I wanted to stay in. There was this React conference in Amsterdam, in Copenhagen. Was it? Yeah. Anyways. And I saw this kind of, it wasn't a hostel, but it was like a lot of the rooms had a shared bathroom and some didn't, but it was just really cool bright colored modern design and actually relatively economical i ended up not going to the conference because i it was just gonna be way too expensive to pay for the flight in the hotel and the fees you know, it would have been a wonderful experience but whatever anyways i just love that the look of the hotel so my thought for the rooms in this boarding house is going to be very much inspired by that However, we're not going to get to that, probably, we're, we're not going to get to that in this video or in this episode. Right now we're just mostly building the structure and hopefully part of the apartment. So worked with platforms a little bit on these column, the co opinions, I, I'm not sure what they're called, the things on the, on the edges of the sides of the building, <laughs> those things. Um, to, to did something with the platforms to pull them up just a little bit to, to give it a little bit more of a finished look. And apologies for any noise in the back room. My kitten, who is really not a kitten anymore, is wanting attention. Except he won't actually come here and get attention, which is, you know, typical cat. So I didn't want the whole thing to be this red brick because it's just a little bit too samey samey. <laughs> So initially I'm putting this plain black brick on the uh, columns, we're going to call them columns. I do end up changing that a little bit later on. I had so much problems with this when I was changing parts of the exterior with walls coming up unpainted or disappearing. So we've got some bugs with the platforms and then some bugs that have always existed with uh, placing bits of roof because I did end up placing a tiny bit of a traditional roof later on in this bill you, you'll see later but I did I went and 
change the second and first floors to a higher level to give it more of a lofting look. The first, the third, the third floor, the apartment, I kept it a low ceiling height. Just because honestly, I don't really like having, you know, a high ceiling height. A lot of the windows didn't really work and the doors seem so tiny comparatively. But for the, for the loft area, the area that would probably be the actual factory, it made more sense. Third floor in the factory probably would have been like management offices. So using a lot of these windows from Moschino, the stuff pack, which I really mostly got for the expanded photography poses, but I love those windows. They're just great. So putting in a lot of big windows on the factory area. And then these, which I think from parenthood, I can't quite see. Maybe they get to work. Yeah, those windows that almost go not quite, onto the third floor. It's another thing where I put, so you see where I put these windows on the side, right? Those machina ones on the third floor. Later on, when I'm creating some things, you know, I, it might have been here, I cut that out and the windows just like disappeared. <laughs> It was so no they're they're there now so it was something else that i did the windows disappeared i was so freaking frustrated with it but here i'm taking part of the um the floor the ceiling whatever out here and what i'm creating is a tiny little greenhouse so i'll have just a what is it five by three area for plants with a glass ceiling on the third floor and just kind of looks all the way down to where the plants are on the first floor. So just a nice architectural feature for the lot, you know, a bit of a different thing to walk in and, and see rather than, you know, just a big room to have it broken up by this little greenhouse would be kind of cool. So I'm kind of playing around with edging on here didn't did end up having to change the edging later on to make it taller because so I originally it put when I put in the roof over that little section I put you know edging on the roof the roof trim whatever and it showed through the apartment I hate that like that's that's been going on forever it shouldn't be showing through the wall and then it was just such a pain in the butt but I did finally get to use that really extravagant glass trim. So that's, that's cool. I was happy about that. So I'm picking a door. This is a problem too, because I got the gap under there. So I was trying to find a door that worked well, ended up going with this. And then thank goodness we can stack windows now. So I was able to make that look a little bit better. That was good. And then I used these things just to kind of cover up the gap. So we're going to go out pretty soon here and cut to the rest of our film. See you in a second. I did take a little, I did take a little cut to just to splice out the rooms in the third floor. I also changed this cladding right here. So that doing a little more texture. I thought that was nicer. And I changed this little top cap bit. The other one was just too big. So I'm just going to show you real quick how we cut this third floor up. No furnishing right now. But we have two large bedrooms here with platform areas for the beds. There's closets. One small bedroom possibly. Uh, two bathrooms. One of them has a platform here because the door comes from the platform in the bedroom. So we needed to have a step down, otherwise they'd just fall. <laughs> uh, 
I uh, did put in a apartment trash chute because I think with this being a third floor building that makes more sense. Also it's really nice because you don't technically need an outdoor trash receptacle if you have the apartment one. I really love those. So we've got stairs, narrow stairwell going down to the second floor which is not occupied right now. And then down to the first floor, which is also not occupied. This small area right here is a very tiny little greenhouse. So you see as it goes up, it's all surrounded by windows. And then it has this glass ceiling up here. So now, you know, I kind of think we need some people to move in here because I don't know what to do with the furnishing without... Uh, the right people. So why don't we, after I fix this wall that I obviously missed, <laughs> why don't we go back to the neighborhood and see who we can get? Hmm, we could make a new family. Or why don't we make the Karats move? I think it's just time. They've had this house for a while. There's not really much opportunity for growth. And I think it's time we moved on to the next thing. So we're going to go ahead and move them out okay so to evict them there's the dramatic mu music there going on and then they got some money back from the house value i guess which is really good i did check that before i built them <laughs> so we're gonna move them into this unfurnished lot well, it's furnished, but it is not really furnished. Because as you saw, there was like nothing in there. Okay, oh, I like how these are covered in snow. That's really cool. And she's got good company from being next to her son. Oh. They're in pause. I didn't mean them to do that. Now that's interesting because it almost looks like this is outside. It should be. Let's see if we can furnish this house. We have very little money and we have nothing in our inventory that I put in the inventory before. You know what? That might not be okay. Ah, no, our things are here. Sorry, I forgot it. It's a certain thing with the better build by mode that if you have custom content showing it won't show what's in your inventory Whew. <laughs> that was close <laughs> so we do have our plants um eventually i'm gonna get rid of the grapes for now i'm gonna nah. yeah for now i'm gonna leave them but i want him to move to just making kombucha okay so we do have a few things can put this down actually you know I want I want the kombucha the still to be in this room for now I do have the stereo which we could just sell but I don't think we will for right now and we have these two items just thinking we could have a sale area downstairs actually I think if we do a yard sale that people will come out or like come in into the house if we have the house open. So we have a thousand dollars and we have nothing to use to, you know, go to the bathroom with or anything like that. So I'm going to have her do some paintings. Hopefully she can get us some masterpieces. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit rough rougher than I had anticipated, but that's okay. Oh gosh, he really has to pee. <laughs> well, he's probably gonna pee himself. <laughs> or, or, you know, we, we can we can we can get some basic items for one of the bathrooms, so let's let's do that. <laughs> oh gosh. I mean, I'm kind of glad because the little challenge is great. And sometimes unexpected things happen. But I was not really planning on 
being in these bad of straits. Okay, so he's got a toilet. We can probably get... Oh, like a... Cooler, maybe? Yes, here's a cooler. So we can get some food. There, we've got food, we've got pee, we don't have hygiene. I think also, because this is saying not ready, I think that there might be some kombucha that's about to be made. There might also be something in the inventory. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we can try to sell these things. Yeah, he really needs to pee first. You know what, Rocco? It's time for you to contribute. Although you really need to pee too. We're just... <laughs> We're just a bladder-challenged family right now. Okay, Suri. It's all on you. Make us a nice painting. What barn new? Who it? Okay, so he's up there. He's using the toilet. His hygiene is for poops. No, I, you probably could use some advice right now because life is a little unsure, but no. Okay, that's good. So we've got them. Well, you can see that those platforms worked. I was a little nervous about that because those walls are only standard height. She painted a masterpiece, which is great. I can't drag it, but we should be able to put it in inventory. Okay, and then go ahead and make another painting. This can go into the sales table. You, Rocco, as soon as you're done peeing, can go down here and sell things. We'll have money in no time, seriously. It's, 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 this is a momentary setback. He wants to buy a cat scratching coat, toe post. No, 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 don't go back upstairs. I need you to tend the table. Okay, and then start a yard sale. Was it gonna negative? Oh, poorly decorated. Yeah, that's because the walls aren't painted. And the floor is concrete. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I, you know, one of these plants needs to evolve. Yes, yes, people will come in. Good, alright. And then I want you to stop this table. And I want you to tend as well. Great. Great, great, great. Okay. Alright, well, Rocco, you are done. Good job, kid. Got 26 out. See, I told you, this is a temporary situation. We'd be all good. Oh, did she just. Zuri, what you doing? Dancing? Okay. I mean, I guess it's fine. I would like it, though, if you would maybe do some more painting, since you're good for it, and it would be nice to have more money. <laughs> Ruth's reacting to the fact that Mitchell stinks. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and put this out. And I want Rocco to take over here. Mitchell has a stank, and we have enough money to get at least a at least a shower. Plumbing, none. Shower. Let's get a halfway nice one. There are nicer showers, but I like the look of this one, so that's what I want to stick with. Okay, you take a shower. Hey, first shower in your new place. You paint us another painting, and then you can quit. Then we'll have enough money to do some uh, remodeling to this house. Okay, you tend the table. 
Good job, Rocco. Give a coy, huh? Wakaroo, give a It is nice that he's a team oh, now and can contribute a little bit more. <laughs> No, I was thinking with Rocco, um, you know, of course he's he's in scouting right now, but it, I'd like him to eventually pursue kind of a, a hobby. I'd like him to kind of focus on veterinary skill because that way eventually we can build a vet's office. But until he gets to that point, um, during his high school years, I like for him to actually maybe enjoy being in high school ah, and so maybe have a little girlfriend or two, have some friends, just, you know, generally have a little bit of a life. So for right now, we're not going to worry too much about him you know, pursuing anything that would make money. I think it's really going to be mostly up to Zuri and a little bit up to... Oh, what are you doing? I told you to go paint. Did you paint? You did. Okay, put that in your inventory, because that's a good painting. Anyway, so I think it's mostly up to Zuri and to Mitchell to make money at this point. Rocco's going to be pretty busy as an adult, doing many things for us, so I'd rather not have him, you know, working too hard during his younger years. Again, trying to make sure that the kid actually has a childhood. Let's put that in there. Okay, why are you doing that? You should go to the bathroom, hun. Let's stock that table. More people coming through. Oh, we got a penny pizzazz. I love penny pizzazz. Oh, good, they bought one of them. I still have that one with the pets on it to go. It's a pleasant, yeah, it's a little pleasant. Work for Mitchell starts in an hour. Oh, his scout meeting starts in an hour, too. So hopefully somebody buys this painting real quick. Why are you guys going upstairs? Nobody told you you could go upstairs, Lilith, and what's your name? Yeah, we're going to have to put a locked door on their apartment. That's for sure. Run for Hey, come on, people. We need to buy things so that we have money to furnish the space with. And he wants to go to Scouts, so buy the painting. Let's go. Okay, you know what? He's going to scouts. You get down here. Oh gosh, did she just grow up? No. Oh, he can't. Oh darn it. Well, okay. Like I said, today is not going as well as I wanted to, and I'm tired of people walking up the stairs and going into our apartment. It's not cool. We don't know you. So I'm replacing this with a wall and a door. Okay. For right now, I'll just use this door. That's fine. And then we'll put some security on that. Everyone but household. Okay. Now, when Zuri finishes up, then she can come down and sell this painting. Oh, I do. I do want to hang out, but we can't. It was nice of Whitley to ask us to come over. There we go. See, I knew we could earn the money. Okay, so now I'm going to go in to super speedy mode again. And we are going to furnish this place. Now we've got 42,000. Yay! Oh, right now. That was super fast, wasn't it? Mostly because I forgot to hit record. Realized it halfway through and then decided, uh, fine, then I can take my time. <laughs> oh, well. Um, this right here is Rocco's room. 
I've got some bright colors going on. I put a little cat anatomy poster up there since he does like cats and eventually we'll get him into the veterinary skill. This small bathroom here is a shared bathroom and then we've got the living area and this huge long kitchen. I thought that was just nice to have him have a good amount of space. On the other side there's a desk sort of between these like built-in long cabinets a dining table and then we have the master bedroom I mean they're both the same size but this one has the attached bath for the most part we're using the same colors that they had in the old house but we've got a little bit of a more industrial look with the sink and things like that I did have you know $20,000 left over and that is good we could go down and start to work on the boarding house at this point, but I think I'd rather wait. And oh, is this her painting? That's interesting. Anyways, I think I'd rather wait and do that when they have some more money. Mitchell and Rocco are currently away from the lot. Oh no, he's back. But Zuri probably would like to eat something. She's having a day at the moment, just her jealousy and also being hungry. I don't know that they have any food in there. Oh, they do. Leftovers must have come from the last lot. Although I'd rather her not eat the grand meal. Let me go ahead and open that up and get rid of those. <sighs> don't want her to get punched out, but after, the, after that she can eat leftovers. Rocco, ooh, not in good straits. I'll also have him get some leftovers. They might actually have him take a nap, my goodness. Uh, not today, Cletus. Normally I'm cool with that, but... Okay, Mitchell's getting ready to take the stage. He's been practicing a brand new comedy routine. He wants to debut for the audience. Suddenly his cell phone rings. It's the president of the Pull Bomb Pictures. Oh, this is one of those things. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He could be promoted to the top of the... There's no bad point to this. I mean, I don't really give a hoot about fame, but yes. He'll make so much more money. Yes, we want to do that. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I'm so happy about that. Look at all the sure, things he's got. Oh, and it's showing me how much these things... Cost. Guess what? We're selling that stuff. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm so happy for him. Oh. Yeah, let's see how much that sells for. The bonus, we already have 35000 And we don't want this. We don't want this. Okay, I'm not sure. I thought there was a whole bunch of other things that he got that cost a whole lot of money. But I guess not. Maybe that was her royalties? Let me see here. Oh, these are all like bonuses, additional bonuses. Okay. That's why. All right. So we get 37,000. So yeah, next time when we start out, we're going to go ahead and cut the boarding house portion into rooms and maybe see if we can't do some things to um, finish that area up so we can start to get borders. Don't know if we'll be able to finish, but with $37,000 we can definitely do a good deal. It's nice that they have a dining table now. Earlier they were eating at a bar. I personally have always been kind of uncomfortable, but I think that's part of me being short. It's just not, you know, comfy for me. Okay. Alright, Zuri's doing well. Why don't you do some paintings for us? Because that is what you exist for. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's see. She works tomorrow. Yeah, there's really not much she can do for her aspiration or for her career to get ahead. So I think she's fine right now with just doing some paintings. Him, I'm going to have to take a nap because oh, he is not feeling great. Let's look at 
her painting. I think she's making the dogs in a field one. Yep, got that one. That's pretty good. And then you can do another one for us. Let's do another realism. And you are still not having a good day, are you, Rocco? Ooh, that's, that's a concern with this lot. It's because we're on the third floor, we'll ball over. No one likes me, no one will ever like me. Why bother with anything anymore? Yeah, that's called middle school. Um, I'll always like you, people. I'll just say that. There's never much benefit, there's always a bad point. Okay. Well, that's a little earlier than I wanted you to go to bed, but that's okay. Oh, is Mitchell back? Oh, Mitchell's got the bug where he shows like he's at work and he's not. That's okay. We can fix that. We just have to travel somewhere else. That usually works. Let me do that for him real quick as soon as he gets done with the bathroom. Cut that out. Well, he might still be bored, but we might be able to fix him tomorrow. I don't know. Let's we'll see what we can do. He's at least back on the lot. What is she doing with all oh Somebody left something else. Okay. Okay, sir. Yep, you go ahead and go to sleep. And you can sleep as soon as you're done with that. So hopefully when we reload the game, he'll be fixed. If not, I'll figure something out. Uh, that is it. We will see you next time. Hopefully we'll be able to go ahead and work on the boarding house portion of the lot and just go about the duties of living life. See you later. Bye.